So for the next part of this project, we're now going to move on to printing. And what we've got here are three sections of polyboard. And um, polyboard is like the, um, the intro to lino printing. It's a slightly easier way of doing it. Um, it's just a little bit more accessible. And what we've got is three printing blocks. And we're going to put onto them some stylized drawings of the pavilion. So what we need to do first is take our printing block, put it onto our page and draw around it. You might find that it's a bit of a squash to fit these on. You might prefer to put them onto separate pages. I think that's probably the better way of doing it. So just draw around each one. So now we've got the size that we need to work within. Now you can work from your drawings and you can work from images of the pavilion. At this point in the project, you'll be aware that we're using the artist Handavasa as a reference. So what you want to do is you want to try and build together a stylized drawing of the pavilion that we can use to print that adopts and, and, and picks up some of that style of that artist that we're looking at. So this long thin one can be used this way, which is portrait, or you can turn it round and you can use it this way. I'm going to do mine this way, I think. Now in my head, I'm thinking about Handavas's kind of lollipop trees that he has. And I'm going to take one of these long turrets here and I'm going to put that onto this with a view to it going onto my collaged Handavasa style background. So I'm going to start to map this out. I'm actually going to work from this image to save me flicking backwards and forwards from my drawing page. That might be easier for you too. So as always, I'm going to break it down into a set of shapes, which I'm going to then pull together into a, um, a drawing, a stylized drawing. And when I say stylized, we're looking at you know, exaggerating certain areas, rounding certain areas off, adding that nice Handavasa style into what we're doing. So you've got quite a lot of what we call artistic license with this, where you can change and adapt the shape into something that you, you quite like. So I'm going to, you should be able to see as I'm working through this how this image is becoming more stylized and there's lots of things that I'm leaving out, bits that I'm going to add in. Just to give it a bit more detailing. Now Handavas's work can be quite sort of curvy. This at the moment is coming out sort of quite angular. And that's absolutely fine. Okay, so that's my basic interpretation of, of this, this pillar that I can see here. And now what I want to do is I want to try and bring in that Handavasa style. So if we're thinking about his um, trees that he does and, and how he uses this idea of line, what I can do here is I can start to build some circular shapes into the top of this pillar. And that's going to be my kind of nod to Handavasa. And I bring those curves around the edge. Then I can continue this theme of lines and bring some more directional lines in across the top. And then I can do the same inside here. I'm 
like so. And I'll just continue adding these lines. Okay, so that's my pillar finished. I'm happy that I've um, brought in enough of Hundervas's style. Um, it's highly likely that when I print this, I'm probably going to trim down these edges so I am just printing this and not any of the background. But we'll discuss that in more detail when we get on to the point where we do start to look at the prints and how to do them.